topologies physical topology physical topology means you have a devices like a pcs or a laptops or a mobile phone whatever it is you are connected how you connect one device to another device okay the physical connectivity of device or a physical connectivity between the and devices we call it as a physical topology okay physical topology then there is a logical topology logical topology based on the ip address configuration okay so because of ip address is a logical address so then definitely it is logical topology okay so that time we'll discuss the what is logical topology means okay so physical topologies so bus topology ring topology mesh topology and star topology point to point multiple <laughs> multiple point and uh, hybrid just uh, i can draw there uh, i can show already draw part just for explanation uh, i just I will draw on the notepad and this paint brush we'll see i have a computer and there is a backbone wire this is the a single backbone wire like a echo axle cable type only so these computers are directly connected through cable to this backbone wire like a cable tv olden days cable tv network only this topology we call it as a bus topology this topology we call it as a bus topology it is very easy to configure but difficult to troubleshoot so what is the difficulty here if the cable is broken in any place a cable is broken so the communication will stop automatically if cable is broken so communication will stop working if device is down no problem but cable is broken cable is disconnected some place main backbone wire disconnected the, the further communication will stop so this is a bus topology next one is each pc is connected to the another pc next pc and it is finally the last pc is connected to the first pc okay so like this this pc is connected to this one this pc is connected to this one this pc is connected to this this finally close so this is called a ring topology why because it is closing is there now so it is like a ring and also it is a communicate in a ring form only means either clockwise or anti clockwise only it will work okay so for example i want to communicate uh, from a to d so a send a packet to to b and b send that forward that packet to c then c forward the packet to d then finally it received the packet just in case a cable is broken communication will stop a device is down communication possibly it will be stopped okay so people uh, thought about that point so then they put a double ring like this means clockwise and anti clockwise to manage the uh, for devices but still there is a certain problems like it is algorithm based so compulsory you have to configure each and every device uh, properly how to communicate if you add new pc you added a new pc you, you got a new pc again every system should be configured again so difficult to scalable easy to configure but again in easy to configure also you have to implement the algorithm how it should be communicate difficult to scalable because 
whenever you are going to add new device, again you have to rewrite entire program. Okay, so and you have to either uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise or both. So still, any device is down, there is a confusion in a communication. So whatsoever it is, it is a ring topology. Ring topology. Next. So we'll see for every batch I ask same question. So how many people will tell this next topology? So what is the meaning of topology? Topology means the connectivity. Ah, uh, now I remember this. Uh, to confuse you, I want to ask uh, anybody having an idea of this topology. Yes, sir. Start topology. Sir. Start topology. Everybody same as me only. Start topology. Everybody. Start topology. Very good. It is called a mesh topology. Everybody just like me, everybody learn from the academies, right? So whenever we there, there is a star is there. OK, it's whenever you see a star automatically mind goes for the star topology. So why people are writing a star for uh, this topology for easy to uh, write purpose only because of that one lectures are become confused. Lectures confused and they tell this is the start of policy and we believe in it. OK, we didn't uh, cross verify because we are very busy. So then it is become a start of policy automatically. Guys, it's not a start of policy. It is a mess of policy. Meaning is every device is connected to all other devices. A is connected to B and C and D and E also. And B is connected to A. E, D, C. E is connected to A, B, C, D. D is connected to A, B, C, E. It is a highly redundant network. Highly redundancy. Means in this one, if any broken is occur, so then communication will stop. If any device or a wire is disconnected, communication will stop. But in this one, it is not like that. If this device is down only this pc won't communicate all remaining pieces will communicate each other if this cable is down only a to c direct communication won't happen but a is can able to communicate all other devices so it is a highly redundant where we use this mesh topology in generally we don't use mesh topology in our regular networks at a server side storage server side server side uh, um, core networking side. So we use the mesh topologies for a redundancy purpose. What is redundancy? If one device is failure, no problem. Other service server will give you a service. Like a high availability environments you want to create it. So we create a mesh topologies in it. Guys, this is not a start topology. It is a mesh topology. So what is mesh topology? Each device is connected to all other devices. Got it? 
Yes, sir. Okay. So it's a universal mistake. It is even myself. I believe that is a start of RG for later longer period of time. Okay. So this is a one problem is there. If you want to add one more computer, again you have to put another NIC, another cable. So another NIC, another cable means entire infrastructure should be their hardware should be upgraded and number of cables will be increases. If number of cables are increases, what happen? So com compared to the computers, the cables are very high in your organization, right? So so many cables. OK, so many cables you even you don't understand which cable is connected to which place. It's very difficult to troubleshoot and very difficult to scalable. So this is the original start of all years. So this is a centralized device. Either it can be a hub or a switch. There is a PCs. OK. For example, PCs are there. All these devices are connected to this centralized device. This topology is again cost oriented. So why is cost oriented means you have to buy a separate device for it. And the cables, but it is very clear cut, very easy to configure, easy to troubleshoot also. If A want to communicate it to B, or a C is want to communicate it to D, or a D, D is communicated to E. OK, how it will communicate? A send a packet to the switch. And B, uh, the, the, the switch will send a packet to the appropriate database. Not direct communication, so every communication go through this. OK, this switch only, or a hub only. OK, so this is called a star topology. This is called a star topology. I'm removing this star topology here. Right here, this is the star topology. Why? Because it will confuse again this mesh topology and star topology. This is the star topology. So what is the uh, advantage and disadvantages? First of all, a disadvantage is you have to buy a centralized device. One more is there. Another disadvantage of that one is. Another disadvantage is um, if centralized devices fail. If cable is down, only these devices cannot communicate. But this switch or a, a router, the switch or a, a hub is failed. Then what will happen? Entire communication will stop. If this switch is down, entire all these pieces cannot able to communicate each other. OK. If only single wire is down, no problem. Only this device only cannot communicate. But it is very easy to configure and easy to troubleshoot also. OK, and easy to scalable. Easy to troubleshoot how you are using a centralized device, hub bar switch, having a LED indication. Disconnectivity, device working, not working status, you can able to see. Something goes wrong, you can add, identify where is exactly a problem. So based on that, you can take a further action. So that's it is easy to configure, easy to troubleshoot and easy to scalable. So this is also a switch. OK, this is a switch. So we have a PCs here. OK, so this is a, for example, a, a FGH. OK, so by connecting connection from this switch to this switch, now I can able to add a more devices. For example, in our Pune office, we have a, a seating arrangement is there now. One room 30 systems, another room 25 systems, another room like a one five systems kind of stuff. So I want to make a connection. All the devices must be connected and communicate. 
but my switch ports are limited. The switch ports are very limited uh, switch ports will be there. Like this, this is this is a switch. These are the ports means where you connect the cable. OK, this is the cable connectivity. So some switches comes with the eight only 16. Um, 48. OK, 48 so 72 like that. So this depends upon 24. 24 is also so generally people buy a 24 port switch. OK, uh, again. 24 ports, it's right. So that is uh, um, point is. Uh, for example, I have a um, 40 computers are there, so I cannot connect all the 40 computers to single switch. So what I will do it, I'll take two switches, 24 port, 24 port, two switches. It's a 48 ports are there, so then I can put a 40 computers very easily. So this is called a start topology, extended start topology. Remaining are very easy. Point to point means you are making a connection between two routers. Again, it is a point to point. <coughs> two devices, point to point. OK, one device is connected to multiple things. It's a point to multi point kind of stuff. But very important is bus topology, ring topology, mesh topology, and start topology. Guys, understand the topologies? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very well. This is the tree topology for last few batches for a, from last two years also. People are keep asking tree topology. You can put in a Google also. You can see the pictures of tree topology. So one of the tree topology is, is a, like a hierarchical type, like a main server or a main switch is connected to the sub switches. Then there it is that is connected to another like it is form a tree type. OK, so or you can say there is a one backbone type. So there is uh, like a tree type means there is a stem branches for each branch is one top again. Some topology is there. Each branch contains some topology, but all our things are connected to the same background. So like a mixed type. So this is a bus topology, ring topology, mesh topology, start topology. OK, so these are the physical topologies and also we can see physical devices. OK, how many we, I can able to tell? So we'll see how much energy you have. That is also we have to see. Yes, these are the basic devices, hub, repeaters, switches, bridges and um, routers and modems, firewall kind of stuff. Hubs are used for a small networks, so I will directly go to hub is here. Just I will explain it guys later. Read it once at least. OK, I, I, I know you don't get the point uh, that much easily. Just at least read once. You will easily remember. OK, so this is uh, uh, how the hub is look like. It's a small hub. Hub is basically a broadcast type. It means this is APC, this is CPC. A send a packet to C, but same packet is sent to everyone. So whenever these remaining pieces received, they check the uh, packet address, they drop the packet. They drop the packet. So C, check the uh, to address and form address, right? So then it will accept the packet. Remaining computers to drop the packet. So what is this hub will do? Hub do broadcasting. So A want to communicate it to B. A send packet to B. Then A is send a packet. So the A send a packet to hub. Hub send packets to everyone. Everyone. 
each time it is happened because of that one what will happen more traffic is generates more traffic it generates more collisions will occur more data loss will be occurs okay so hub is actually it is non intelligent device it does not understand any mac address or ip address okay it brought it broadcast the packet to everyone okay broadcast the packet to to everyone But, okay it is used for a lan communication it is used for lan communication small networks like if four computers are there why you are going to pay for a switches go and purchase hub with three four computers are there then you can buy hub you have a 10 computers 20 computers very seriously working better is switch okay so again mind is going hub is for a small networks lan communication and does not understand anything like a mac address or ip address you know as per the osa layers it is a layer 1 device it is also a physical layer okay so because of this broadcast because of this broadcast because of this broadcast so what happened the number of collisions will occur and possible packet loss and what is this repeater repeater is like a you know when our the signal is travel like a, a little far distance is there so what this do we will use a repeater to repeat the signal we don't boost the signal we repeat a signal means same signal it will generate sometimes you can use your uh, hub as a repeater another example is <coughs> wifi extension you know um, i have very big hall room is there very big rooms um, so we have wifi connection so certain bedroom or a bathroom something a wifi is not coming so what you will do we will use a wifi extender so you can search in a um, if you want you can search in a amazon kind of stuff also okay so it's an example is like a wifi extender actually repeater means it receive the packet and repeat the packet means it regenerate so the signal strength will be less it will be regenerate the packet again hub by a repeater next one is a switch switch is a intelligent device it understand a uh, mac address of the devices means computers mac address it will understand in it will create a mac address table switch is also used for lan communication start of algae only like a hub and switches are both are start of algies the switch is used for lan communication and it is used for a both small and a large networks as per os layer it is a layer to device initially the switch act like a hub. initially a switch act like a hub but like act like a hub means it do broadcast but once it is learn the mac address of the devices so then it is unicast so lesser the number of collisions uh, by switch but cost is little different so that's why if you are having a medium to large networks like a 10 networks are there 20 networks are there 50 networks are there, then go for a switch only a large number of devices can connect so multiple devices we can because my number of ports are also high number of collisions are less no less packet data less so okay so what is the function of these switches is mac address learning so i'll show you one diagram here guys when these pcs are communicate each other the switch uh, gather their mac address for a first time they are communicating automatically switch is uh, uh, able to gather the information okay switch is um, uh, gather the pcs mac address information while they are communicating each other and it creates a mac address table you can see this is the mac address table 
So for example, PCA want to communicate it to uh, PCC. So where is PCC? At a third port number. So, so PCA when it's sending, it's packet sent to the switch and automatically know where is the PCC, then it will derivate to it. Okay, so instead of broadcasting packet from uh, your central device to everyone, like A send a packet to switch, switch is broadcast to everyone. So instead of that one, so while it is doing that job, so it will gather the information of, so gather information of PC's MAC address and map to the switch port number. That is called a MAC address table. Okay, again, switch is an intelligent device, understand MAC address, and it created a MAC address table. It is used for both LAN communication and uh, uh, layer two device, it's a data link layer, it's both small and large networks also it will support. Some people may ask like, what is layer three switch? Guys, layer three switch, the switch type is, works both routing and as well as a, so basic switch function also. Then an inter VLAN routing purpose, there it is used. Yeah, this is the difference between switch and uh, um, hub bridge kind of stuff. So this is the router guys. Router is also intelligent device. Router is a inter networking device. Inter networking device means whenever you want to connect two or more networks together, we need a router. Whenever you want to connect two more two or more networks together, we need a router because it is a inter networking device. Okay. It's a logical addressing. It is works with the logical addressing like IP address kind of stuff. OK. It is um, used for a LAN and WAN communication means internal communication LAN and external communication WAN connectivity is there. As per OSC layer, it is layer three device. Layer one is hub. Layer two is switch. Layer three is Router. Hub switch router. Layer one. Hub layer two. Switch layer three. Switch. Router. Router. Very good. Very good. The router name came from the root. Normally root. Root means path. But what is this router will do? Router shows best path to reach the destination. I am here. I will open google.com. Google.com is located in some different location, right? But how to reach it? I mean, between me and Google.com, there is a lot of routers kind of stuff is there. So I want to reach that uh, uh, destination. So what it is, it is router is shows best path to reach the destination. OK, so router use routing tables to reach the destination. OK, so in the router, we can configure routing information means how to reach the destination. You can configure manually the routing path you can mention manually that is called static routing. Or this routing paths are created automatically by using dynamic routing protocols. RIP version 2, IGRP, AGRP, OSPF. So I think uh, last one is the router uh, completed now. So router, which is a layer three device, LAN WAN communication, center networking device. It's deal with IP addresses, okay? And it shows the best path to reach the destination. Then finally, in this one is a modem. Modem means modulator and a demodulator. For example, if you have a FM radio, so you will listen to the music or a voice, right? The frequency of that one is 20 to 20 kilohertz only. But you want to transfer the data to a longer distance, you have to go for a modulation. Okay, modem and like. Uh, next one is modem 
connect to the net, internet. So without a modem, we cannot be able to connect it to the internet. That is very simple. OK. So nowadays we are having a Wi-Fi routers. The Wi-Fi router built in modem is there. Built in modem is there and router uh, the, that router also act like your Wi-Fi access point and a router and as well as a default gateway. This is the placement of modem guys. First of all, to connect ISP or a connect internet to ISP, we need a modem. Then modem got internet, so then which is we can distribute it through the router. So connect the modem to router and in a router I configured uh, based on my requirement. So then based on that I can able to communicate or get IP address like that. Sir. Yeah, so, but nowadays we are not using modem. We are using only routing routing devices Thank to connect with devices. Actually, when are you taking a Wi-Fi router? Yeah. Wi-Fi router. The Wi-Fi router is a combination of multiple things. So this same router, we have a some small hub uh, like a four five connect. We can able to connect like a LAN connection. And Wi-Fi access point, wireless access point is there earlier. Now not required because your router is itself a Wi-Fi router. Next, built-in modem is there because whenever you see a modem, like I put a Wi-Fi router, no, not required LED status router. Okay, so whenever you see a router, see there is a WAN connectivity. So obviously this connectivity, so for a internally there is a modem. So first of all, whenever you uh, switch on this router, okay, then power is on and you try to get the internet, right? You try to connect it to the ISP to make a uh, connection establishment. So, like okay. we have inbuilt modem in our router. Modem? So, like we have inbuilt modem in our router. Yes, that's it. That's it. Very simple. We have a inbuilt modem in the our routers nowadays. So earlier days you have to purchase modem separately. Then, uh, if you want to route it, then you have to use the router for a routing that network. OK, so nowadays it is not like that. OK, guys, so this is a main important devices. I told very lightly, uh, OK, so better once you can go through once the devices and their function. One or two points are enough. Three points so also good. Tell me again what is modern? Modem means modulator and demodulator, which connects to the uh, internet. So we can make a connection to the ISP or a internet, you can say. Okay. Modulator and demodulator. I given this example for a FM radio example, but actually, modulator and demodulator one is connecting. Second one is um, I have a LAN. In the LAN, devices are communicating. In the LAN, devices are communicating. That basic signal uh, baseband is like a uh, some 50 Mbps, 100 Mbps, a digital type of signal only there. But you want to forward to long distance, right? Like a, to ISP provider, you have to send it. From ISP to some other distance, they have to send it, right? So to do that one uh, through pass the your data through your a telephone cable or fiber optical cable so the modem is convert your digital signal to analog signal or your basic digital signal to your fiber optical related optical signal okay telephone related signals it will convert into that one so it is modulate and send it and receive demodulate and uh, accept the packet type 
OK, so modem is basically make a connection to the ISP or a it make a connection to the Internet. Simple point modem means modulator and demodulator. OK, it modulate the signal to transfer the data to longer distance through telephone cable or a fiber optical cables. OK, and where is the modem is located? So directly when this location, this is the modem location. Then router, then our computer switches, access point and all. I will explain this one again with this one and this one. Why? <coughs> what is the default gateway also? I will explain. <coughs> Nowadays both are integrated. OK, so the place of modem is at edge only, starting only, because to establish the connectivity between your home or office to ISP. OK, you know that question also uh, some well got that question. So where you put a modem? Nowadays it is integrated. Very good. So again, guys, the topologies are bus topology, ring topology and a start topology, extended start topology. Devices like a hub, switch, router and modem. These are the very important things. That's it for today, guys. Any doubt, anything, no problem. You can ask me now. Uh, tomorrow class is not class is not there tomorrow. OK, actually I want to put a class, but your class is shifted to afternoon. So Saturday afternoon uh, usually. I don't get much mood. <laughs> we'll meet you on Monday. But meantime, study, oh. practice both communication skills and technical questions. OK, guys. OK, sir. Yes, sir. Tomorrow I think that's why I've taken a networking and also a forward networking PPT. Meanwhile, okay, I'll keep sir. forwarding Class. some videos also. And also I given this see, modem versus router. OK. So if you have a yes, small, small uh, doubts. Devices doubts also you can check it from there. OK, so I'm stop recording.